I know you all will see this picture and be wondering like, why do I have a collage of Harry and this man, this murderer? Hmm. It's because they are like the sides of the same coin. I see a similarity between these two men. One a cold-blooded murderer and one a hard drug addict and delusional and pathological liar, right? But Alex Murdoch has been found guilty of killing his wife and kid and he's been sentenced to life imprisonment. And also, he is a hard drug addict, yes. And when he was finally caught, he, like proven that he killed his wife and son, he confessed that he is a hard drug addict and he always needs money to buy his drugs to refill, you know. So, look at this man right here, Harry. Prince Harry is a drug addict. He started taking drugs at 13 and he claims and writes it in his book about taking drugs and taking mushrooms like this is really dangerous it's one of the worst kind of drugs harry writes about them without any fear or without getting any punishment for it but you a normal person like me and you can't take these drugs and come forward and say we took this we took that you know you get punishment for that so just like the murders who felt at some point that they were above the law because there are many other crimes tied to this family. And they got away with these crimes because they had the police in their pockets. They had everyone in their pockets. So they thought they could they control everything. They thought they were above the law. Same year, Harry feels he is above the law. Or he knows, rather, he knows that he is above the law. So he can do anything and get away with it, right?